I've uh, been coaching for about 17 years now, but six years ago when I got asked to uh, coach in the high school, the new league, uh, high school league, and got asked to coach with Jason Marshall at the time, and the growth has been phenomenal. Uh, the league's done a great job, the Ducks have done a great job to grow it. Um, us, ourselves now, we have three teams, we have over 50 players. We had, uh, I think, over 20 players that came to Orange Lutheran to play hockey. So it, it's cool for the school, it's uh, great for the league, and great for the sport of hockey in California. Hockey's popularity among high school athletes and on school campuses throughout Southern California has grown significantly in recent years. It might not rate as high as football, but it has become much more than a niche sport. I've seen at school, um, my freshman year, I had people asking me, oh, we have a hockey team. Like, I didn't even know that. But now everyone on campus knows about hockey, and almost everyone's been to a game. So it's just a really cool evolution, and it's happening statewide and countywide. Playing club hockey, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, and all, it has its perks, but you just, you know, your parents are there watching you, but at, at school, you're really there, you know. People at school, you know, tell you to say hi, there's posters around school, you know, saying come, so come support hockey. And it's just great, you know, being with all the football guys and your whole hockey team there, it's just, it's a great environment, it's a great atmosphere to be with. In the past, for years and years, you've had kids growing up trying baseball, just because it's what everyone does. Now I'm getting a lot of people saying, oh, like, my, I'm putting my kid in hockey, like, just because, you know, it's Orange County and it's becoming like a part of the culture here, honestly. Success breeds success. The Lancers' taste of last year's national tournament has left them with an appetite for more this season. Uh, last year we won the state championship, we went to the national tournament, we had a little rough time there. So I wanted to change that this year and get us kind of prepared for that higher level competition. So right out of the gate, school had just started, um, the teams were just getting together, and we went straight to Colorado, spent an entire week there. It was like a field trip. Traveling is something that everyone knows, like we'll bring the team together and Usually it translates well on the ice, but I think there we saw that bond that we were building, just hanging out at the hotel with each other and never leaving each other's side, translate onto the ice. You grow up watching the game and it's just something you really love and it's just like, it's very addicting. You can't get over it and like the bonds you make with your teammates, it's more than just teammates, they're like a brotherhood and it's just, it's fun waking up every day and knowing you're on this team and just being able to go out there and compete with them. This season, the Lancers are 28-6-2, having won the International Events Labor Day Festival and the Bellarmine Prep Holiday Invitational. That's honestly like the crowning achievement for us, just to get, get to nationals and have an opportunity to be there and play with these top level teams from around the country. There was high expectations for this team. They were very good last year, and so we just wanted to be better than this last year's team. And I think, think we have the pieces and puzzles for it so we can just put them all together and we can be a solid team and hopefully go to that nationals and hopefully bring home the title. A lot of my friends who don't play a sport like hockey will never get the opportunity to say oh I've played in a national championship tournament. It's almost like a uh, like celebrity status like oh I've played in a national championship tournament and it's so awesome.